Hey everybody, how you doing? Today we are just going to do a, a basic uh, vibration example. Um, this is for uh, pretty much uh, how to derive the equation of motion. And the best way to do that, first of all, you need to know the basics, like uh, Newton's second law. I'm sure everybody knew this. Summation of forces equals ma, or in this case we can actually write, write it in a way mass in this form or in the other form we can actually do it summation of the moment equals the moment of inertia and x double dot I'm sure everybody knows that it's actually the acceleration you'll understand that the distance is considered as x velocity is considered as x dot and double dot is actually considered as the acceleration this is velocity and this is the distance Okay, getting that out of the way, let's uh, first, when you look at a problem like this, first thing you need to do is draw a free body diagram. Best thing is, let's start out from here. This is, by the way, is a circle, and it's connected into this pen. And we have a spring over here. We have another spring. This is a mass. And then we have a damper. All right. So now drawing the free body diagram, in this case, as you see, the moment of inertia of this solid cylinder would be going clockwise. So let's draw the free body diagram. Starting out with the small circle. This is R1. And we have that force from the spring, K2, going in this direction. K2, X2. Because everybody knows that the force of a spring is F equals negative K X. Or in this case, you can avoid this. We automatically know that it's going in that direction since the ball or the, the cylinder is actually rotating clockwise and the spring, the force of the spring is always opposing the direction that you're going. Alright, and then we have the bigger circle right here. And then we have this right here with the mass. And we know we know that the mass has an actual acceleration F equals M double dot. So I'm just going to write it down right here. M X double dot, which is the actual force of that, the force of the, or the weight of this mass pointing downward. And then we also have the spring, which opposing the direction. And this one I'm going to call it K1 X1. And this is the damper. And the damper is also opposes the, for, uh, the direction that you're going with. In this case, for the damper, the force equals to F equals C, which is the damping constant, and then the velocity. In this case, we'll call it X dot. Okay? That's the most important thing, and then you know that for this pen, we have a reaction forces. Let's call this Fy. And then we have this as fx. Okay? And we can say our reference is this is the positive direction. All right? So you got the free body diagram. And don't forget, it's rotating this way. Moment of inertia. Okay? So after you got the free body diagram, now you actually... Let's derive the actual, let's write down the equation of motion. And the first thing you need to start out, since we know it's automatically rotating, we will do the summation of moment. And in this case, we'll do the summation of the moment at pen O. And I forgot to draw this, 2. We'll call this 2R. All right. So now, after we got this right here, let's work it out. Let's work it out. So... Summation of the moment equals the moment of inertia of the cylinder. Okay? So the best thing we need to do now is to actually locate the moment. And if you guys see, if we do it at this point, the reaction Fx and Fy gets taken away since we're doing the moment at O. And anything that crosses O or intersects it, it really gets canceled. All right? 
So now let's start out with this right here. This distance is R1, so we automatically know we have K2 X2, because that's the actual force of the spring, times the distance that is perpendicular to it, which in this case we have R1. Okay, and now we look at the other forces, and then we have a force right here. Okay, and the force that we have here right now, in this case, I'm sorry, it's going in a negative direction, since our pod, our, what we're asking is that this is our actual, anything that's going clockwise is positive. Okay, so we have negative K2x, which is the force of the spring, times R1, and then you have another one, minus K1, X1, and now you look at the distance that is perpendicular to it, and that is the actual radius of the bigger cylinder, which is 2R. And then we also have another force, which is the damping force. So also C, X dot, which is the force of the damping, and also the distance is 2R. Okay? And then, if you notice this, we have the moment of inertia of the sphere, which equals J-O, theta double dot, but also you have the moment of the force of the mass, and in this case, it's related to this, so we will say it's positive. M X two dot double dot times the distance because you're doing the moment which is two R. Okay? Based on this, this is pretty much just your moment of uh, the this is like your equation of motion, but you can actually break it down into further. And let's actually take this to the other side. So we will say moment of inertia. Okay. Plus times 2R and let's move everything on that side we will say plus K2 X2 times R1 minus K1 X1 oh, and then plus times 2R plus C X dot times 2R equals 0. Now the only problem is this equation of motion is not finished because we have theta double dot and then as you see we have the transitional which is the x double dot. 